Let me lower the volume to about this and I'm gonna pitch it up to two semitones. It's on B sharp minor. Yes, uh, I really enjoyed this vibe. Let me grab some drums. Genres, R&B. Yeah, I, I really enjoy R&B. It's uh, I like to make the drums and stuff. Like, and I don't know, it inspires me more to to add more vocals and stuff. Yeah, the percussion it's it's really key on this uh, these kind of beats, you know. It gives you it give give it a lot a lot more movement. I kind of wanted to do some traditional kind of R and B stuff, but like after adding this rim on the two and the four, it gives another vibe, a, a different vibe, you know. But let's see. to do is um, humanize my hi-hats so that they're a little bit off so it gives it a, a little bit more like uh, a human feeling <laughs>
I used to like a lot of uh, Daft Punk. Um, but I don't know, music has to evolve, you know, sometimes. And yeah, they're they're really great, actually. It sounds a little bit more interesting something I was going to go for a more like traditional R&B kind of beat but I'm glad that I did this kind of like four on the floor beat uh, it's kind of like a house kind of chill mixed with R&B stuff it really sounds unique <laughs>
my Skeller. Um, but I think it's a little bit too expensive, bro. And I don't know. I I, I don't. I I used it for a while on the trial version, and I really enjoy like making uh, chord progressions uh, quicker. But sometimes you can get a little bit too overwhelmed because you have a lot of options, and I re I tend to go more for like a for loops instead of uh, using scalar. I wish I could use it a little bit more because you can. Uh, do some more unique stuff, but um, it, it's it's hard sometimes to come up with a good chord progression, a, a unique chord progression, and, and it takes time. So, so yeah, maybe in the in the, in the near future I can, I could buy it and, and use it, but right now I think I'm gonna stick with this workflow that I have. going on that's the most important part like the vibe and that's what I focus on like if it's if it takes me away of creating stuff then I, I don't do it um, yeah that's my like thought process <laughs> to play like the piano right now because of the latency of the string uh, so yeah bear with me if I like miss the notes and stuff but I just want to get the idea going on
cutting up some information in here like going from down to up yeah I mean I use it to give it a little bit of movement to stuff like this lead I like the lead but when you use it in a, in a certain period of time it kind of gets boring 
in some uh, in a way to to make it a little bit more interesting is to add some modulation and I like to use snap heap uh, to give it that mo uh, modulation and just add like the modules that I want like for example right now I'm just gonna use a simple filter and I'm just gonna be just moving it around so it gives a little bit of uh, another uh, movement to this <laughs> Is another layer of movement. This one. It's moving a lot, and I really enjoyed that. So I'm gonna put this or repeat the this melody over in here. Just in certain parts. Let me just um, tag some of these uh, sections. It's gonna be the first, the pre-chorus. This is the chorus. And then this is the second verse. but like a plug or something some keys maybe um. something like this and it's uh, a little bit more chorus to it maybe put some chorus in this what is this 
this day. This. take a lot of the high end in here.
to be one last time and I'm heading off you know because my ears are getting tired uh, I'm not used to the new monitors they're you, they sound amazing but I mean they're, they're really they're really large and maybe that's why I'm getting a, a fatigue like a lot faster still working on long uh, long volumes but I don't know there's something that it just like makes my ears fatigue a lot faster but thanks for watching I'm just gonna put this Play this one more time and I'm heading off, you know? So, thanks for joining. Slice. I think they have a lot more of of loops and more variety, and they like uh, they upload constantly because there there are a lot of creators uploading a lot of stuff every day. Yeah, I prefer Splice over Loop Cloud. I I, I tried it before, but I I stick to Splice still because of the quality of the loops and everything. And for me, it's uh, it's better than Loop Cloud. I don't know, uh, do you use uh, Loop Cloud or do you use Splice? <laughs> 